Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 3, Episode 10 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. <笑>どうせんぐるぐる巻きのリングが飾り本体と見せてまんまコイルだ耳にかける服にはワインから取ったロッシェル円を貼り付ける Copper coils have very low resistance, and the shape of the coil actually increases the strength of the magnetic field when a current passes through it. Think about a single stretched wire that has a magnetic field strength of 1 amp per meter, or 1 H. Each coil will have its own strength of 1 H, and the more turns they have in the copper coil, it will yield a stronger magnetic field. And each of those magnetic fields generated by each of the turns of the wire will all pass through the center of the coil, and then it'll superpose. Meaning with each coil and each magnetic field, they all add up together in the center, and that produces one really, really strong magnetic field. Which also means the more coils you have, the stronger the magnetic field will be. The larger your magnetic field, the larger the range the earpiece will have. And it can't be too many, because that would just make it really obvious and the spy would get caught. And in modern earpieces, we will use that same coil, but for different purposes. And instead of using Rochelle salts, we will use little powerful magnets. It won't need batteries or a power source because it's just picking up small vibrations and then amplifying them to the sound that's louder for the person who's actually listening to it. This is the most bare bones motor I've ever seen. And it really will work the way that Senku has shown here. The magnetic poles are always opposite and opposing each other, which is why the smaller secondary magnet is spinning. And it's important to have one of them in a fixed position, because if it wasn't, then both electromagnets would actually spin until they're sticking to each other, and now you just have one really strong magnet. You don't actually have one rotating in the magnetic field of the other. This last part is so true. It's what we were talking about earlier with the multiple coils yields a stronger magnetic field. For a drone to lift off, the motors will need to move the propellers really, really fast in order to achieve lift, and the shape of the propellers matters a lot too. Depending on the size of the drone and the actual shape of these propellers, you might not need four individual ones because you can just have one giant propeller over one tiny drone. But in this case, what I think they're trying to do is build the four of these and what advantage you're really getting out of something like this is because you want these propellers to be close enough so when they're spinning, like the distance, see if I actually get that on camera, the distance between them is not that large. So it's like when these two, no matter how fast they're spinning, these two propellers will never touch each other, and likewise, these two up here will never actually get in contact. But you don't want these to be so far from the main center load, because the farther it is from the actual load, then the more difficult it will be to actually lift it. So you have to be close enough to this center of mass so that this thing can achieve lift, but you don't want it to be so close that the propellers will actually hit each other when they start spinning. And these took a while to perfect, but now drones are available all the time. And if you have a really cool girlfriend, she'll buy you one for your birthday. And I've been playing with this thing a lot ever since I got it. It's so much fun. Not the drone we were hoping for, but it's still pretty cool. Senku has already built a fully functioning car, and he just miniaturized it into the rat of science. And that is for, there's for sure an antenna hidden somewhere in there so that Senku can control it, but it's not obvious, right, as to not raise suspicion. And I'm, I might have missed it, but... I, I'm not like I know they showed like in the diagram for the drone that there's gonna have a controller, but did they show the controller that Senku built? As Senku is remote controlling the rat, Kohaku will be able to pick up the analog radio static every time he clicks a button on the remote. So like looking at just a, a regular controller or like the classic GameCube controller, the reason that she's gonna pick it up is because if at any time he even moves this joystick or if he's actually like clicking one of these buttons, any command on this thing will get picked up by that earpiece because there's no set frequency. It's just basically Rochelle salt or it could be a magnet and it's just vibrating to whatever frequency is available in this stone world, it's just one. 
it's Senku's radio. So this is also going to function on the same uh, technology. So every time he clicks a button, she's going to hear it like, hey, there's something going on, some sort of static. I have a hypothesis about writing and communication in that we started off with symbols on cave paintings, effectively drawings to convey information and transfer knowledge. Now, I'm not sure when, but somewhere in this timeline, an alphabet was formed and people started learning common symbols, each describing the same thing, because there'd be, there's less room for misinterpretation. Imagine if you're looking at two different paintings and it's like, okay, that is a mammoth on the uh, cave painting, but this one looks like a mammoth, but it could be a tiger or it could just be like a really weird looking tree or something. That's one of the issues that uh, like came up with certain people communicating over different periods of time. And if you were to form an alphabet or a common symbol, that would actually solve the problem. The other reason would be, what you don't want to happen is for all the information that's ever transferred to just be on one location or just one rock more specifically. Can you imagine that conversation? It's, hey man, I learned something really, really cool and I would love to show it to you. Not on this piece of paper with writing on it. We have to go three miles to that rock and there's a really good joke once we get there, but that's the only place you can go to to get that information. Not very effective. And when we transition to common symbols, like an alphabet, then grammar rules will be applied, and then we would have a definitive subject, verb, noun, or in each sentence. The most common example of this that I can think of are Egyptian hieroglyphs. They're a combination of letters and symbols which translate into stories and lessons. After that, we basically just have straight letters. There's no pictures, no symbols, just letters of the alphabet, vowels, consonants, you name it, which is what we're doing today. And then when emojis came out, we started to go backwards. Using emojis in conjunction with the written words actually helps us convey tone in a way that just text on a screen would not really be able to. I mean, it's really hard to detect sarcasm over text, unless you really know the person that well, but that's because you've heard their tone before, so that their tone on your phone is, you know, really like well pronounced. But it's not that easy, especially with someone that you just met. It would make a lot more sense if you were to put emojis on there, then you get it instantly. Like, imagine if you're reading the script of a comedy movie. Not very funny, just text on a page. But you see it acted out with emotions, all of a sudden it's a really, really funny movie. But my hypothesis is that we're moving towards a set of communication, just like the ancient Egyptians, where they, we, we have grammar, but the symbols and emojis are going to actually take the place of our written language because for one they're universal right like uh, anyone can understand a smiley face but the the word for happy is different in mandarin english spanish chinese and the i mean all these different ways of going about it and emojis are just universal so i think that for a universal language we're gonna do that instead of simple text and we're just gonna get rid of words altogether I don't know, just an idea, it might not be a thing, but it's just something I've been thinking about recently. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day.